Welcome back. In this video, I will demonstrate pneumonia detection project built using deep learning techniques. The front end is designed using Flask library. Pneumonia infection is caused by bacterium in the lungs. When tissue of a lung is infected by bacterium, it builds up pus in it. To determine if a patient has pneumonia, professionals perform bodily exams and diagnose their patients through chest x-rays. The aim of uh, this project is to provide an efficient and effective solution for detecting pneumonia disease using deep learning techniques. The objective of the project are to learn the different biomedical terms related to pneumonia disease, to build a deep learning model to detect whether a person is infected by pneumonia, to build the web application using a Flask library to analyze the pneumonia disease. You can follow this link to download the complete source code, documentation and the instructions of this particular project. I will paste this link in the description below. Once you download the project, you will get the following contents. You will get the data set of this project. You will get the pre-trained model or else you can train your own model with the help of the source code given here. The static template and app are related to the front end which is designed using Flask library. You will get the PPT as well as the complete report. The source code is present in both the version that is IPython notebook as well as .by file. The requirements contains all the required libraries uh, to execute this particular project. And finally, the very important uh, file is that is README which contains the instruction to set up uh, the project as well as uh, the instructions to execute this particular project. Once you follow this uh, readme file, you will be able to understand uh, how can you set up as well as execute this uh, project here. The data set contains three folders so that is test, train and validation. Within test, train and validation, uh, there are two more folders are there. One is uh, normal and another one is pneumonia in this case. Normal uh, contains all the x-rays with uh, normal uh, person and uh, pneumonia contains the persons with uh, pneumonia disease in that case. Similarly, there is a folder uh, that's a models which contains the pre-trained model that is pneumonia underscore model dot h5 in this case. Uh, if you want to see the code, uh, you can uh, open this uh, ipython notebook or the dot py file. The code will look uh, something like this. Uh, initially, we need to import all the libraries here. Uh, that is what I have done like uh, numpy, pandas, matplotlib, tensorflow, all these uh, libraries we need to import first. And then uh, we need to build the CNN model, uh, which is responsible for uh, classifying whether a particular person is having pneumonia or does not have pneumonia in this case. Next, we need to read the data. The data is present in dataset folder. Within that, as said earlier, there are three folders are there, print, test and validation. I have set that particular paths here. Next, we need to read the data and then we need to pre-process it. So that is the next part here. Next, we need to train our model. To train the model, uh, we need to use this function that is model.fit. Uh, the model will run for 50 epochs here. In each uh, epoch, uh, there will be 163 steps and uh, we will be doing the validation in 624 steps here. Now, it will run for uh, 50 epochs. Once it will run for 50 epochs, uh, the model is ready for usage in the real world. Finally, the model is saved in models uh, directory with the name pneumonia underscore model dot h5. So once you run this code, uh, you will be able to get the new model which will be available in this uh, models directory which can be used for a real world classification of the new patients in this case. Now the next question comes in front of us is how to run this project. If you want to run this project, we need uh, uh, TensorFlow 2.10 and a CODA toolkit. CODA toolkit is required only for the GPU. If you have a GPU, then you can install CUDA Toolkit. If you don't have a GPU, then there is no need to install CUDA Toolkit. Just install the TensorFlow 2.10. It will run on the CPU here. Now, uh, the question is how to install uh, TensorFlow 2.10. I have already posted a video. You just follow this video to understand uh, how to install TensorFlow 2.10. I will place this link in the description below. Now, once uh, the TensorFlow is installed in your machine, uh, you need to go to the uh, folder where you have extracted your uh, project and then you need to hold the shift button and then you need to press uh, the right uh, mouse key. You will get this pop-up. Here you can select either Anaconda prompt or the PowerShell here. 
So once you select any one of these options, you will get this criminal. You can notice here, this is the project folder and currently you are working in base environment. Now what we need to do is, uh, uh, we need to shift to TensorFlow environment. Uh, for that reason, uh, you need to run this uh, command that is conda activate tf. Once you execute it, uh, you will get tf here. The meaning is uh, you are currently working in TensorFlow uh, environment. Now what we need to do is, uh, uh, there are two possibilities. Either you can uh, execute the pre-trained model or else you can train your model uh, from scratch. First, I will show you how to run the pre-trained model. For that reason, you need to execute this command that is python app.py. That is the front end here. Once you execute it, uh, it will show you this uh, link that is nothing but uh, the app is running on this particular link. So, you need to copy it and then you need to paste it into your browser. Once you paste it and uh, press enter button, you will get the home page of your app. You can notice here, this is the name of your uh, uh, project. Here it is asking you to select an X-ray image. So, now we need to click on this uh, choose file. Once you click, uh, you will get a pop-up window. Here I will be selecting few images from normal and a few images from uh, pneumonia and then I will show you whether it is working fine or not. First, I will select an uh, uh, image from normal here. Once I select this image and then I click on this uh, predict button, you can notice here the pneumonia is negative. That is, it is a normal person's X-ray. There is a 0% chance that the person is having pneumonia. I will select one more image from the normal only. Now you can see here again, uh, there is a 0% chance that the person is having pneumonia in this case. Now I will select a few images from pneumonia folder. That is uh, the person is having pneumonia. I will select this one. So once I select and click on predict button, you can see here. For this image, uh, there is a possibility of pneumonia with 71.91 percentage here. Similarly, for the second image, if I click on predict here, you can notice here for this image, there is a 100 percent chance that the person is having pneumonia. Similarly, for another image, a 59.79 percent of possibility that the person is having pneumonia in this case. So, this is how the app will work in this case. Now, uh, let's assume that we want to build our own model. Uh, rather than using the existing model, I want to build my own model. So, what we need to do is we need to run either IPython notebook or the .py file here. For that reason, again, uh, we need to open Anaconda prompt or uh, PowerShell. To get this uh, pop-up menu, first we need to hold the shift button and then we need to press the right mouse button. You will get this uh, pop-up menu. Select either Anaconda prompt or uh, open PowerShell. Uh, you will get this uh, terminal. You can notice here, this is the project folder in which you are currently working. Again, we need to shift to the TensorFlow environment because currently you are present in base environment. So, we need to run conda activate tf here. Once I run this uh, command, uh, you will be present in uh, tf environment. Within this, we need to run this command that is uh, python pneumonia underscore detection dot py. So, once I run this particular command, uh, uh, it will start executing the source code here. Uh, you can notice here, it will execute for 50 epochs. And uh, this is how uh, you can notice the total uh, uh, trainable parameters and non-trainable parameters for the model under consideration here. Now, once it executes for 50 epochs, uh, the model will be saved into models directory here. So, once the model is saved into a model directory, you can use that model for classifying the new images with the help of uh, the flask app. Uh, to run the flask app, I have already shown the procedure over here. So, this is how uh, you, you can execute the pneumonia detection uh, project built using a deep learning technique and uh, the front end is designed using flask library here. You can follow the link given in the description below to download the complete source code, the documentation as well as the instructions to set up the project and run the project. If you like the project, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.